It feels like a privilege, was how one teenager described the launch of a film club in his inner city school today. Over the next three years, 7,000 clubs will open across the United Kingdom, the brainchild of Bridget Jones director Biban Kidron. Thanks to £11 million in government funding, she's launched the scheme with a troupe of award-winning film folk to teach children why the art of storytelling is so important. Our arts reporter Stephanie West went to Morpeth School in London's Bethnal Green. In a great piece of casting, the director, Biban Kidron, had pulled in some of Britain's most influential folk to launch Film Club. Sir Alan Parker, who gave us the commitments of Mississippi Burning, Emma Thompson, who's won Oscars for acting and script writing, star of Harry Potter and Peter Pan, Jason Isaacs. And in the playground today, their presence and this Film Club wasn't being taken lightly. I think it's a privilege because cinema is really dear nowadays when you're watching a film it, it's like they're speaking to you not each other they're sending a message out to you like a moral like a moral of a story after coming up with the idea a couple of years ago Bridget Jones director Biban Kidron was given film council money to try it out in a handful of schools the club licenses them to show films it's called Dear Frankie it was made in 2004. I'm not going to tell you. Gives them free access to 2,000 pictures and has a website where children can post their reviews. I've reviewed Chicken Run. I have reviewed Bugsy Malone. I've reviewed Pink Panther. Pink Panther. I care that our generation speak to the next generation, that we find some way of communicating with them. This is just one way. It will not answer all the ills of modern society, but we have absolute evidence that kids go in, they go to film club and they say, you know, it gives them confidence. Yeah, we have children who've had a difficult time at school who say, I like school a bit better. Okay, mommy, let them have it. Charlie Young, because it's a double cross. Okay, you guys, freeze. <laughs> In the pilot stage, the number one film proved to be Bugs Him Alone, Alan Parker's tale of 1930s America in the grip of prohibition and custard, which is why he was courted for this national launch today and immediately pounced on by an adoring fan. It's great to, to go with your films and talk about them. You know, it's always, uh, in a funny kind of way, not for them, but for you, because you always learn, you know. There's nothing better than actually talking to a kid's audience to actually f to, to hear the real truth of actually what you've done and what you haven't done. Lovely. Okay. Film Club was tested in just 25 schools last year, but it was so successful by the end of the experiment, a thousand more had applied to join. Now organisers have enough to fund 7,000 film clubs. The head of this new beneficiary was knighted last year for dramatically improving his school's GSE performances. He's delighted with film club. In English, for example, you know, there's, there's nothing better than showing a film of Romeo and Juliet if you want to engage the pupils. Films engage with and raise all the important social and political issues in our society. And schools are being promised visits from industry players. And you could have anybody, you can have electricians coming in and talking about how they, how they fix up lights in a room. You know, how, there's a, any number of things that you can do that can, could encourage kids to go into every area of the profession. And it takes away from that whole celebrity-led um, atmosphere. Because show business can be tough, as pupils were shown today. <laughs> Stephanie West.